Hello and welcome to Planning for Senior Life University. I'm Paul Nasto and I'll be your host for today. With me is Terry Blanchett, founder and operator of Time Sorters LLC, a one-of-a-kind service to preserve and protect the materials and heirlooms of family and business legacies. I have boxes and boxes of physical photos. What do I do with all of my photos? You're not alone, Paul. Photos are actually the number one collectible item that we all have in our, our um, homes and in our businesses as well. And that's because it is a prolific way to have captured all of our history and our, our memories. Um, we, when we talk about photos, we break them down into two categories. And there's a good reason for that. First one is the um, newer photos. And those newer photos uh, are ones that we've had, say, from about the 50s, 60s, uh, on through um, up until the 90s when we really stopped using uh, a lot more of the paper. And the reason we have a lot of those photos is because we, we took extra copies of things. We took extra pictures, uh, making sure that we had everything that we wanted to get because we couldn't see them until they were printed. So the first thing that we recommend for our newer photos is to go ahead and sort through them. Uh, now, a lot of people say, well, I've already done that and I still have a lot of photos. Well, the sorting that we talk about doing is not only getting rid of the duplicates, but we also to ask people to consider just saving one representative good photo um, of an event, or maybe two if you want to get everybody that was there in attendance. So that's the first thing is to sort through them and, and really just keep those ones that really capture the moment. Uh, one client I had had actually uh, six pictures of their son uh, rolling around in the leaves and they were all adorable, but really one photo would really do them well for that case. Then after you've sorted them, you want to put them into a general date order. And that's important because when you're going to go ahead and save them, you want to be able to reach out and actually go to those um, moments in time. We don't sort things by um, the, when we did have the photos uh, printed. We didn't sort them by um, when, they came, when they came back from the store. They were actually organized by event and by time. So do that sorting, then do the organizing. And then finally, if you want to share those photos, the best way to do it these days is to have the photos digitized. And uh, we recommend at least 300 DPI. Uh, at Time Sorters, we do 600. I like to catch the extra um, details that come into those photos. But it's important that minimum 300 DPI dots per inch uh, to have them scanned. Now, um, the older photos uh, that you have are a little bit different. Again, you want to look through them, sort them, but you're going to sort them by um, not only bad photo, good photos kind of thing, but you're going to sort them by photos of people that you know or don't know. Um, oftentimes, the older photos are full of, of people that we don't know, places we've never been. Those are memories from people who have long since passed. So be sure to um, feel free to go ahead and, and pull out those photos that you don't really know anything about. Um, some of us like to keep old photos because they're just cool looking. That's fine too. But really be judicious about how you're going to, to um, sort those. And then once they're sorted, you're again going to want to scan them. Now it's particularly important to get the higher dots per inch on the older photos because they tend to be grainier, um, less sharp uh, photos than the newer ones. And so you want to capture as much of those um, digital imagery pixels that you can by, by getting a higher resolution. And then as far as what to do with them if you don't want those older photos, um, in both cases, photos are not recyclable items. You can't just put them in recycling, and that's important. The reason for that is there's chemicals on those papers that are non-recyclable. All right, so if you're going to get rid of your photos, you're going to have to throw them out, or you can donate them to a local historic society or a library, and, and oftentimes those two organizations will digitize these images or use the originals in, in displays or in um, uh, it, sort of the ex exhibitions and things that they do about those particular areas. I would like to thank our guest today, Terry Blanchett, founder and operator of Time Sorters, LLC. I'm Paul Nasto, and thank you for viewing and listening today. And please join us next time at Planning for Senior Life University.